Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to do the server validation with Laravel and view. So when we create the post, if it is empty, it should give us an error or it should make the input rate or they should warn us that they should not be empty plus the email address should not should not be repeated so far we don't have them so again i will open the console so going to the network tab and we will just send requests and see if we get any error because we are using api so what i'm going to do is here is our store which we did in the last last video it just creates things so we will put the server validation here you know in laravel you can just write this the then say validate of course it is not javascript and it should be with dollar sign you can just call validate function here validate function will accept two parameter first one is request which we are going to take the request here from here and the second one is going to be the rules which rule you are going to apply so i will come down and say we want the name should be required and then we have email everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste i snap it here so i will select it and paste it here what this is basically doing is okay i am missing something yeah basically we say name is required and it should be a string and the max character is one it is 255 it should be 191 no one name is longer than that so that's fine the email address is the same thing 191 and then you it should be unique in the users table so when you create it make sure it is unique it is going to check if it already exists so it give us an error and it will display it so uh, the password should be of course a string and minimum character should be 191 this is fine this is fine for now i will save it and let's see how it is going to work so we do need to refresh anything i think for this time because we just changed thing on the server not in the front end if i put the field in name as empty and send the request let's see what will happen create it yes we get a uh, 200 and okay what was the error name yeah we get 422 error so if i check the preview here we have the errors and if you check out here yeah this is good this is good actually you know like the input field is required okay it is displaying because we did that in the last video we just displayed the error but again we get the error here in the console so again we have the email which is already um, have been taken and for this one we do not get any error because we did not apply anything for the password oops we said min minimum character should be this much it should be minimum of six like it should be more than six character it should be a strong password overall so this is how we do the validation this time let me create another one so if i refresh this one and create a new let's say this one is mm, what we to give the name as a test test at me.com password i am just testing user and then for the rule he is an author let's say for the password let's give them test one two three four and create the user this time we get mm, yeah we get a 201 which means we have the user so if we go to the user data table we must have the user uh, so i think let me check it once local host the thing is in the next video we will display them here of course there are so many other things you should do but we, we will do them like step by step it should close the window once it is at once it is added it should show as a progress bar in the top that we are going to create the user and when it finished it should hide the progress bar plus we should uh, it should uh, yeah it should refresh the table here that we have new new row in the database and it should display it here all of those things we will do in the next videos for now let's check what we have in the database so i will go to let i start here In the users table we must have the test here yes the username everything and the biography photo is null it is fine for now but we will do something about them in the future uh, so it should give us a default profile so i think this is for it for this video in the next video we will display all those data from database here thank you for watching